You're joking, aren't you? It's the Teesside Chef. Spaghetti carbonara for you here, and I'm going to do this two ways because I'm tired of being told how to make carbonara by all these European bureaucrats and foreign types. So get this into you and up yours, Delors, or something. So first of all, we want to get our pasta on, because as much as I'd like to use good old British roast potatoes for this, you just can't. And salt your water generously and get it on the boil. And instead of using guanciale, which is cured pig's cheek, I'm going to be a right cheeky pig and use uncured chorizo sausage here. But any fatty sausage works great. But I'll do it with the guanciale as well, I suppose. And here's the guanciale coming in here. Look at that. Crackers, man. Crackers. So I'm starting with my sausage here first, and rather than chop it into thin lardons, or whatever the federal fundamentalists in Europe call it, I'm just going to use my chubby hands to tear all this up into smallish pieces, and I would say around 100 to 150 grams of meat per person is the right amount here. And the irony of using a sausage of Iberian origin while I disparage our continental cousins is completely lost on me because I'm daft as a brush. But let's chop this guanciale into lardons anyway to keep the Ramonas happy. And of course we need an egg mixture for our carbonara here. And it's always best to crack your eggs into a separate bowl first, isn't it, boys and girls? And I'm using one whole egg and an egg yolk for two people. But those bonkers Italians with their unreliable cars and social cohesion would have you believe that you should only use egg yolks here. But you do what you like, you know. You've taken back control, haven't you? That's going to work out, isn't it? Anyway, here's our pecorino cheese for the traditional version, and we're grating this nice and finely here. And for my Brexit version, I'm just going to put as much Parmesan cheese as I want to put in here, and a third of a teaspoon of pepper. But to stop all the Europhiles from getting triggered, I'm using four egg yolks and two tablespoons of grated pecorino cheese for the authentic version. But either way, you need to give it a good whisk up, and then you can put it to one side. And now our water is boiling, we can put our pasta on to cook. And I'm using whole wheat pasta here, because it was the only one I could get after everybody started stockpiling white pasta in preparation for our throwing off the shackles of our European overlords. But the cafe culture clowns will tell you that white pasta is normally used here, so we'll have to do that as well. They just can't stop telling us what to do, can they? Anyway, use around 100 grams of pasta per person here, but you can decide, can't you? Because like I said, you've taken back control, haven't you? So now we've made sure that pasta's not sticking together, we're going to get a frying pan, put a bit of olive oil in there, and I suppose I better put a clove of garlic in here now, otherwise the European Court of Human Rights will probably arrest me for treason or something. And get whatever meat you're using in now, and you want to cook it on a medium-low heat to render out the fat. So I'm cooking this sausage very gently, and doing it this way will save you about £350 million a week, which you can spend on the NHS. And here's the guanciale cooking away with the white pasta to keep Gary Lineker happy. And you can take that garlic out now and discard it before we put our cooked pasta in. And don't worry about draining the pasta too much, because we need a bit of that starchy water to lubricate this dish. And we're nearly done now. I'm going to add a few tablespoons of water to it, just to help with the lubrication. And give that a really good stir to incorporate. And you want to turn down the heat now so that when your egg mixture goes in, those eggs don't get scrambled like my brain has been throughout this whole Brexit debacle. And now that we've fully incorporated the meat with the pasta, don't forget we've turned the heat down. It's time for our egg mix to go in now. And don't be scared here, just get it fired in. And then straight away, stir it vigorously. Give it a really good stir up. Just like Nigel Farage and people of his ilk stirred up all that British nationalism to help us all vote away our children's futures. And that's it, you're done. And you have been done. So let's serve it up on a plate here, and uh, I'm going to put some freshly cracked black pepper on top. And you want to follow that up with a nice, generous sprinkle of your cheese of choice. Obviously, parmesan for me, and pecorino for the lefties. And you should do this the other way around, really. But I'm doing it this way just to piss Guardian readers off. And let's get a good old pile of sausage on top and enjoy it while we watch Mrs. Brown's Boys or our Jim Davidson DVDs. Absolutely faultless, mate, beyond any kind of reproach. Good old freedom carbonara. And I suppose I'd better put a picture up of the so-called authentic spaghetti alla carbonara, just so you don't think that Russian trolls were responsible for this video, eh? See you next time, you dials. Terra.